Hey guys and welcome back to my uh, video <laughs> or my channel. Uh, I have to say this is my July haul. I can finally film it. I received my new phone tripod holding thing. So the other one broke and I had to order a new one. So yeah, that's that. And I do have a huge pile of happy mail. Um, and I will actually have to cut this video into parts. I'm so sorry for that, but um, otherwise the video will be, I don't know, over an hour long. And typically those videos don't get watched that often on my channel. So I will cut it maybe within like 40 minutes each or half an hour each, maybe. That's enough. So yeah, I think we will start with the stuff I've already kind of opened. And I will move all the other things to the side. So we we'll start with this one and my and the huge planner box I received because so I have ordered or I subscribed to the Planners Anonymous box, and I basically only subscribed for two months because I wanted to try it first and see if I like it, and then I. Yeah, would have considered um, uh, continuing the sub kit or not but there were some issues with late shipping and then I already got charged for the second month um, and I haven't even gotten the first kit and then they ship both together so yeah I had to wait I don't know two months until both kits arrived finally so I didn't have a chance to try out even one kit so I right ahead uh, went ahead and cancelled it right away it's not the planner, the fold of the shop, but uh, yeah, it's just was too much for me and on my budget. And this is actually a shop from Australia. And I think that's why it all also took so long um, because I think they had some delays. Anyways, we will start. So this is the Planners Anonymous box and I got the July and or was it June and July? I think it was June and July kit. And it does come in this a box and I will just put out everything. So I already opened one of the kits uh, to show to my friend. Um, so we will move that. Alright, so the Planners Anonymous box is basically a subscription where you do get a lot of different things. As you can see, there's washi, pens, stuff, and paper, stickers, and even stamps. So we will start with the first kit, which was the Chapter 3 kit, which I originally subscribed for because I really wanted that kit for sure, because it's a book-themed kit which i'm totally obsessed with reading i have a tons of books um yeah i could read all day long which i sometimes do so we will open the papers first to have the big items out of the way i haven't looked through those papers yet so that's a surprise for me as well all right so we do have some normal uh, craft paper here which is double-sided you have this gorgeous bookshelf print on the one side and then you have a brown just structure on the back and then you have that twice so you could use front and back and then you have that scene twice with a green background and then we have this print, which is cute as well, with a rose gold. Um, it's not rose gold, with a rose, rose background. I'm sure the ones who are familiar with it uh, already have opened theirs. Then we have the vellum, uh, which is the same bookshelf print. And then we also have an acetate, which I love because I don't get a lot of acetate. And this one does have gold foiled flowers which are nice so overall not that bad i would say so the paper is not really that thick so maybe they're not perfectly 
they won't hold up as well for dashboards if you're using them just by themselves but if you go ahead and laminate them they're not too thick um, to bulk up so maybe that's good but what I don't like is having those huge prints I mean it's gorgeous by itself this is an A4 size sheet so it's beautiful but I don't know where and when to use it because I can't cut it up because then the scene is ruined or I don't use an A5 planner so maybe if I would you know cut it down in the middle so you have two A5 size that would be okay with the print but yeah or maybe for my personal white that could be something possible so I could you know cut that one or just the chair or even cut it here or more on this side and have more on here I don't know but the thing with those huge prints you're wasting a lot of print which is sad but that's how it is overall I love the papers again I love books I love reading I love everything with books so I probably will continue buying shit with books on it <laughs> And then we will have a small package here. And this was packed by Katie. Okay, that's nice. So let's see what we have packed by Katie. As I said, we have some washi tape uh, in here that I will show you last. And then, okay, there's the magnetic mark, I think. And there's something that tells you what is in this kit. Uh, all right, so this is the third installment of our much much loved book lover series. Okay, so that's why it's called Chapter Three. We have six sheets of double-sided paper, one print vellum sheet, one for a clear acetate sheet, planners anonymous themed pen, which is this one which is cute and it goes with the kit um, regarding the colors so that's nice and you twist it so let's see how that writes okay that's actually nice um yeah it's just a regular ballpoint pen so nothing too fancy but it's a nice pen all right what else do we have in here? We have the washi washi washi. We have a full sized planner stamp set. Oh, that's cute actually. I love the big flower. I love the typewriter here. We have some stuff you would use if you are a reader. For example, oh, you can go ahead and stamp out one more chapter, I think. yeah we have book story read more reading oh yeah okay that's nice all right so we have a clear uh stamp set i do have some a few clear stamps so i could definitely use that then we have the art card what is the art card is that the art card but that's a die cut. All right, I will check that later. This is, I suppose, the bonus mystery item, which is a magnetic bookmark, which says one more chapter, and it's in a yeah beige blush color. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Then we have the die cuts. I think those are a lot of die cuts, in my opinion. They feel very nice. I won't uh, pull them out yet, but as you can see, those are flower die cuts matching to the theme. And then we have the quote cards. We have a read books and drink tea. For me, it would be coffee, but what else? Uh, what a lovely... Oh no, it says what a novel idea. Then we have Someday I'll Fly Away. 
author, illustrator, editor. Then we have write like you're running out of time and story of my life. All right, okay. So you could probably, those are very thin quote cards. Um, you might have to laminate those. Just the backing card of the quote cards. Then we have the sticker sheets. And those are for sheet sticker set. Okay. So those are pretty small. Okay, so you can make a full kit with this, a weekly kit. Oh, okay. So if I would have gotten this kit earlier, um, there's a sneak on the next kit i suppose so yeah is that a sticker as well no okay that's only printed but the paper feels nice um you basically have a mini kit that you you can build out of this i would probably use this for my daily pages in the cousin um it's nice but okay and I suppose the backing of the die cut here is the out is the out print. Not too eager about that, if I'm honest. But um, okay, and it's bent already. It says I need more books, and uh, I don't know which size this is. Maybe. Yeah, it's not, it's not A5 size, maybe B6, so, or you could use it, put it in a frame, picture frame, or hang it, something like that. It's cute though, but um, I would not consider this a extra item in a sub box. That's more like a backing card for me, but okay. Uh, well, I still like it, don't get me wrong. Um, oh, and we have the washi. I haven't shown you the washi yet, I'm sorry. So, we do get three tapes of washi, which is very nice. So, we have a, a 10 millimeter roll of washi, which says one more full stop, the end, take note, three more books. And the one more would say one more chapter, I suppose, or one more page. And then we have the bookshelf uh, tape with 15 millimeter. And this is the, what size is this? Oh no, this is, we have five millimeter, 15, and the big one is 22 millimeter. And then this one is with the big red flowers. I think it's hibiscus flowers. I'm not sure but yeah I love the washi I love the pen you can't have enough pens in my opinion I really much like the stamp set I do like the papers um, especially the vellum and the acetate and the stickers are nice as well so Oh, and the die cuts. I love some die cuts. But the rest, uh, I could live without the rest. But, okay. It's a nice kit. If you like those kits, if you like the format, um, definitely go ahead and check it out. And uh, we will move on with the Tropicana kit, which is something I would not have picked by myself. But I was... You didn't have the chance to cancel after one month. You had to get at least two months and yeah okay so i actually really much like this print it's beautiful and the back side looks like this it's a nice fresh green oh that's nice i love that we have those leaves the back looks like this and you have some splashes here Okay, that's a little bit too much, but oh well. We have the flamingos and the huge flowers here. Twice. Now we have the vellum. 
which is nice. Um, yeah, it's a scenery vellum, and uh, yeah, that would look nice. And we have the acetate with the uh, monstera leaves and flowers in gold foil, and the foiling is very nice. So again, love. Actually, here I actually do love those two sets of papers, the birds here and those leaves. I love the acetate. Again, that's very nice. Love that. So, like the papers here more. Then we have another pen, which I think does come in every kit, which is, again, very nice. I love the peach colors, so I do have two now, and I think they are very nice together as well so yeah they would look nice in a little setup actually on your desk i will go with the washi next so we have again the five millimeter 15 and the 22 and those are actually really nice i love them and they're gold foiled which is cute so the washi is a huge plus i love that and then we have the stamp set, which I love as well. We have this huge Polaroid camera. You can build yourself a flamingo. I don't like that uh, a lot about clear stamps, but you have the toucan bird here, the hibiscus flowers. You have that little character sleeping in a hammock. So you can create a cute summery spread with those. We have the die cuts and the art print again yeah i love the die cuts don't like the art print um we have the planner cards or the yeah code cards we have yeah that note we have the sticker sheets which they look like this. Those are cute. Yeah. Oh, and the uh, sneak for August would have been Hygge Life, which doesn't make sense for August, but I guess in Australia it's winter now and not summer. That would make sense. <laughs> so yeah, actually I like the stickers. They are nice. You could definitely go ahead and create a full spread of those so I'm okay with the, the stickers and you have a mystery item which is this little pouch you have some felt inside uh, I don't know what to do with it not sure maybe you could put your passport inside or your I don't know vaccination pass or whatever you currently would need or yeah maybe I think passport vaccination cards are good for traveling right now because you would need that a lot I assume so yeah maybe I will use it for that so that has been everything I've gotten from the planners anonymous uh as you could have probably tell by my reactions I'm not yeah totally excited obsessed with everything but generally it's an okay subscription it's a little bit overpriced i would say for what you get for the quality of some items but overall it's okay if you want to spend 45 australian dollars for a kit um but I want to be honest, I'm glad I cancelled, but I'm also happy about the things I received and I will definitely be using them to get my use out of the money I've spent here. All right, uh, next up is something very exciting and a subscription or a surprise kit I'm really happy about and I fell in love with it. Um, this is from Pippi Plants. This is her store name and this was the Pippi surprise, the first one um, she made. 
and I love it. I fell in love with it because it's just so well thought out and something, yeah, it's a small surprise. Uh, compared to the other kits kit you just saw, it's pretty small, you know, you get one, two, three, four, five items or four and a half items, I would say. But the thoughts behind that are amazing and um, the items are very high quality. So we will start. You get a beautiful card and I love that she chose um, this word here. Um, you can pause to read what it's what it means and on the back side you have all the information about the people surprise you always get something to write with which is the kokuyo and pilot preppy white fountain pen which is this baby right here this is the preppy fountain pen um, it doesn't have any ink in it yet that's why it sounds like that but you do get a full bottle of ink that you can use um, as you can see from the form of this ink cartridge um, it's a special one but I also saw a girl on YouTube um, getting a converter for this pen so I will try and find that as well so I can use my bottled ink with this fountain pen so this is actually a pretty good um, pen I would say and it is designed to match perfectly with the Kokuya, Kokuyo Zara Zara notebook, which is the thing, something to write on. And it looks like this. And this is a great notebook. I love the paper. It feels very nice. So you always get something to write with, something to write on, which is the notebook. You get something to play with which is so cool and this rabbit tape dispenser who doesn't need a lucky rabbit in their life especially one that doubles as a tape dispenser so I haven't opened it yet because I want to show you the cute packaging and it's something Japanese they have always the cutest stuff in my opinion so let's have a look here Oh, that's so cute. Look at this. Oh, and there's tape in it already. So you would, yeah, go ahead and roll it like this and then yeah, cut it. Oh, that's so cute. And I love it that it's white so it would match every one's aesthetic. And it matches the gray white theme of the box, which is a very thoughtful. And then we have the something to inspire which is this ukiyo planner card ukeyo 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 i don't know <laughs> um the planner card yes it's all too easy to be wrapped up in life and worrying about things we cannot control hopefully the sentiment here will help you achieve your own personal balance and sense of the moment which it totally did as soon as i opened it and inspired me so yeah that's all i wanted <laughs> And then we have an extra surprise, which is the Pento Vicuna. And this is the very first baby surprise. And I wanted to make sure it was awesome. So you also receive an extra multi pen. Twist the pen to reveal black ballpoint, red ballpoint, and a pencil. What's not to love about that? Nothing, in my opinion. So let's open this pen. And I'm already out of breath from from talking so much oh jesus how can i open this up oh god so there's the tape okay easier than i thought Alrighty, we have the pencil vicuna it feels like a very nice um pen and the pencil pens are generally very high quality pens so oh there's the red one where can i write uh let's try Oh, 
I don't know how this pencil is working because there's nothing in it. Oh yeah, there. Okay, you have to push um, a little bit harder on the back to get the pencil out. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that pen. My goodness, okay. How can I get it in like this, maybe? Okay, so this is the Penta pen, which is a very nice. And over, overall, I am more than happy about this little surprise box. And I'm very much more pleased with those items than I have been with the Planner Anonymous kit. So this is something, it's very neutral and not you know it's not specifically for planner girls but it's something for people who love paper and stationery love to write love to try new pens new paper new notebooks and something to play with you know like this so yeah that's something that really drew me um drew me into it and, and that's why why i love this surprise i haven't gotten the other surprise packs yet um, because honestly the price is a little bit more higher um, or have been higher on the, the last few months and it wasn't in my budget so I skipped those and then they also sold really quickly which is awesome very happy for her so yeah I will have a look out for the other months and see if I will get them you always get a little you know a little uh, color theme and you always have something to write with, to write on, to play with, something to inspire and an extra surprise. And that's why the prices, the price of the surprise are changing from time to time. All right, I don't know uh, for how long we are in already. So we will go on um, with my next subscription. And maybe this will be a subscription part. So, this is the July Mystery Bundle from Stationery Wonderland. Which is a subscription I have been subscribing to since last year. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm so happy about that. Do I have the August? No. Not yet. But it shipped already. So, this is the July. Um, yes. Oh, I'm super excited about this one and I'm so out of breath. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. Let's see what we have here. So like I said, the last few months, if you're watching my monthly hauls, you will recognize this shop. If you are new to my channel, you won't specifically, but this is the Stationery Wonderland sub. It's a uh, mystery bundle. You will get a overall theme. And I picked the Hobolinchi Cousin uh, monthly sub. And I chose the light version. I subbed to the complete version a few months back. But I wasn't using everything from the sub. So I decided to get the light version. Which only contains one sheet of vellum. Which is enough for me. I love this theme. I have to say love it love it love it love the characters gorgeous as always foxy is so cute and the cat as well um this is a little thank you card from sandra she always writes a note by hand we have the july foxy freebie which always is matching to the kit so you could use those stickers for your weekly kit we have the die cut set which is now sticker die cuts and i love it Oh, they are so cute. So we have Foxy with a uh, watercolor brush. We have Foxy um, painting himself. We have the watercolor uh, colors, the box. Uh, we have an empty canvas. Oh, and that's so cute. This, okay, okay. So <laughs> there's um, Princess Honey on, on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. And she is so funny and she always comes up with the most hilarious ideas of what the story could be between foxy and kitty so 
And this reminds me of Titanic, you know, when she says to Jack, Jack, can you draw me like one of your French girls or something like that? And she's wrapped in this, you know, uh, satin blanket, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Kitty reminds me of, of um, Rose. <laughs> Yeah, that could be it. So I haven't watched her video on that yet, but uh, I have to check if she if she figured that is what happens as well uh, or the other story she came up with. So anyways, <laughs> this is the deco sheet and the kit is actually called Foxy's Watercolor. Sadly, it's not called Foxy's Titanic Fantasy or <laughs> whatever. And then we have the Obony <laughs> Chikazin kit which does come with two pages, a whole bunch of stickers. So actually I like to go ahead and use those stickers in my monthly spread. So um, yeah, I think I haven't, I have planned July or haven't I? I don't know, I can't remember, but there's enough uh, for a monthly and a weekly kit in my opinion. And the stickers does fit the monthly boxes of the cousin and then we have a mystery item which is this one and it's a vinyl decal and oh my gosh it's super super cute i love it it's pink vinyl decal how to oh yeah that's nice so she also tells you how to apply it and i think this would look super cute on my oh come on where are you here on the on this book here on my homonichi avec you know against the blue or the mint color and then we have the pink foxy here oh yeah that would look so cute oh my gosh okay this is set <laughs> this will go on this cover gorgeous so yeah another awesome kit from sandra she is super talented i love that kit the price point is great and again, I can highly recommend checking out that shop and also check out Princess Honey on YouTube. She has the hilarious stories about Foxy and Kitty. So, yeah, <laughs> super, super fun. Um, actually, I think I will stop that video right now. So I will go ahead and make a part two. And I will call this one the subscription haul. <laughs> and the next one will be a, yeah, just a normal sticker orders I placed. And uh, yeah, see you in the next part. Bye.